But this is how we become free, Joy. Truly free. From all the ugliness inside us. That's why you came to us. To me. Okay. I'm ready, Rachel. Good. Now say the words. I'll do it with you. I, I am blighted. blighted. My, My words, words are, are woe. woe. My, My deeds, deeds are rot. Are rot. But, but I am not lost. By hollow blade, I draw, I draw out my affliction. affliction ah! And I am made pure. I know it hurts, but you're doing really well, Joy. Now I need your other arm, the wrist. What? You didn't respond to our other therapies. This is the only way. Rachel, I appreciate everything the Foundation, what you've done for me. But I, I can't. You have to stay and finish the oath. I know you're scared, but... Rachel, let go of me. You can't keep running from this. The blight has to be cut out or it Rachel, spreads. Rachel, let go! This isn't just about you. You have to finish the Get oath. Get the hell away from me! Rachel? What did you do, Joy? I... I didn't... What did you do? Please, make it stop! I'll do anything! Great Purifier, grant us your protection and hold us in your loving and Please, make it stop! Make it stop! Joy, you need to listen to me! Joy, finish the oath. Now! Free of fear. Free of sorrow. Free of... today, little one. I think Wolf scared away all the rabbits. Mama, he can hear you. So what if he can hear me? He's a useless little shit. Sitting around They're too loud! You should go play in the yard. You don't need to hear all this. Get out. Get out. Come on, Orson. Time to go. You're not staying for dinner? She can say what she likes about me, but she needs to leave my son out of it. Stay. She gets cranky this time of day. She just needs her medicine. You're always defending her. I'm all she has. She's sick and scared. That's all. You'll have to start standing up to her sometime, Papa. Huh? You can't keep... Are you back? Get up here, now! Well, go on. She's waiting. Ingrid? Ingrid? Then... Carl! <coughs> Something's wrong! Nothing's wrong. You're just having another bad night. <gasps> I can't breathe! Lie back. I'll bring you water. <sighs> Who's calling? Meta? Oh, that fitter. 
It's not Meta. It's Astrid. Ah, lies. I see everything. How she looks at you. You're both waiting for the sickness to take me. Hey, Astrid. I'm sorry I upset Mama. Can you put her on the phone? Uh, she's quite tired. Should I come by again? I've got it handled. <laughs> handled? You've never had anything handled. I did everything for this family. I worked, I cooked and cleaned. And what did I get for it? Drit. Ungrateful children, a useless husband, and this damn... <coughs> I'll be gone, and you'll do what you always done. Hide. You will lie to our daughters. Tell them it wasn't your fault. But they'll see through you. They'll see their father for what he is. A useless, filthy little coward. You'll tell them you loved me. Maybe they'll believe you, but then they'll find out. They'll learn it was all a lie. You loved her. Always her. But she'll never love you back. No. Who would ever love a Yavel such as you? Only me. And look at what I get. This is your fault, Carl. It's your fault. Wolves again. I'll need to take care of it. Yes. Go handle it. Go and hide, you coward. <coughs> Go! The coroner believes it was an aneurysm. Natural causes. Rachel? What did you see? It was... I... I don't know how to describe it. It wasn't human. Ropes, or... More like vines they hung from it. 
Radcliffe, Chapter 7. The purifier came cloaked in roots and vines. This is a good thing. A blessing. Joy was blighted, and the purifier chose you to protect us before it could spread. Or she's cursed. Krista! How can we trust what she says? You know her story. Everything she touches turns to shit. Maybe she didn't even see the purifier. Maybe it was the- Do not say that name here. This isn't for us to decide. Rachel will testify before the elders. The elders? They'll hear your testimony and render a judgment. Xavier, what is there even to discuss? Joy is dead and she's responsible. Krista, enough! Rachel, the elders can help you, but you have to tell them the truth. Lies breed blight. Joy was blighted. I can't lose you too. But what if I'm not blessed or cursed or... What if this was all just an accident? You witnessed a miracle tonight. How could that be an accident? Now go home. Spend time with your family. Meditate on the teachings. I'm sure the right words will come to you. You missed the mess. There was a leak in one of the machines. Rach? Is something wrong? It's... Joy. Eric. She's gone. What? She's gone. And I couldn't do anything about it. Ah, oh, Rach. I'm so sorry. I was helping her. It was working. Yeah, I know. How, uh, how did it happen? <sighs> you know I can't tell you that. You only just joined the Foundation. Well, has anyone told Toby yet? Rach, Joy was his sister. The only family he had left. I don't need him making things worse for me. For us. Rachel, what the hell happened tonight? I'll write a note, and you'll take it to him. What are you gonna say? I don't know. A Foundation prayer? It might bring him some comfort. Toby hates the Foundation. But Joy didn't. We were helping her, and she believed we could help him too. It's what she'd want. What about money? His job doesn't pay well, and it'll be difficult to cover the funeral costs. Toby's proud. He might take it as an insult. <sighs> Maybe I should just apologize. For what, Rach? I recruited Joy. I feel responsible for her, okay? Look, whatever you decide, I'm behind you 100%. If he freaks out, I'll try to calm him down. And if he's satisfied, I'll tell him it was all your idea. I know, and I appreciate it. Just let me think on it, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey. Te amo. Te amo. Why are you sitting in the dark? Papa? Are you okay? I didn't get a good look at it. That... thing... that killed the goats... ran to check on your mother. Papa? Where's Mama? I tried. I tried. I tried my best. Orson, I need to talk to Grandpa. Why don't you go say hi to Grandma? No! Pa 
Papa, did something happen? Oh God. Oh God. Should we ride the tractor today, Lilivan? <laughs> Orson, Angel, don't, don't come in here. Go back downstairs. Oh God, Mama. How did it... Papa? Did you... It's not my fault. I tried everything I could. I really did. I, I took good care of her. Tried what? CPR? Did you even call the paramedics? I need to call an ambulance now. I already called them. I'll wait with Orson. The ambulance should be here soon. Okay. Let's get the place looking presentable. Mama would kill me if we let them see it like this. What's this? Oh, that's your mother's painkiller. Papa, she didn't take any injections. What did you give her? It's just... I was just trying to help. That's all. Paramedics are coming, Papa. And police. If they see this, what do you think they'll say? Just get rid of it. Papa, this is evidence. I'd be incriminating myself. Then put it back where you found it. Maybe they won't even see it. Papa, did you... Did you have something to do with Mama's death? If you want to turn it into them, so be it. I would never hurt your mother. I'd never... I think the ambulance is here. I should go downstairs. Joy. Last call, Toby. This is Joy. Tell me something nice, and I'll call you back when I'm Shit. Toby, I, uh, need to talk to you. Yeah, you do. Your wife is pulling my sister deeper into her goddamn cult. And it needs to stop. She's dead. Rachel? No. Your sister. Joy. No, no, no. Joy's fine. I just heard from her. I'm so sorry. I am. You need to know Rachel and I both really cared about Joy. You're serious. How'd it happen? I... I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? 
Rachel said it was some kind of accident. Wanted me to give you this. What the hell is this supposed to be? It's a prayer. For you. From the Foundation. Rachel thought it would bring you some... I don't know. Comfort. C comfort Are you fucking kidding me, Hernandez? She said Joy would have wanted you to have it. <clears throat> hey, take that shit out! What the hell does Rachel know about what Joy wanted? It's okay. It's fine. We're friends. That's what I fucking think of a prayer from your wife's cult. Xavier? Krista? Hello? Everything all right? More visions? The purifier has more to show you. These visions are a gift. <sighs> they don't feel that way. Even Radcliffe himself was frightened by the things he saw. But while others saw a monster, he saw salvation. Our order is not for the faint of heart. But I've never had to worry about that with you. I always knew there was something special about you, Rachel. And now the Purifier has shown me I was right. <laughs> something to share, Krista? What if you're wrong? What if she did see a monster? The Pestilent. Xavier, you know why we came to this town. What we're here to do. Can we really risk everything on a... a feeling? Faith, Krista. And until now, my conviction was all I had to keep us, this whole damn town, safe. But now I have more than that. I have proof. Blessed? Cursed? I honestly don't know what I believe right now. But Joy is dead, and somehow I'm responsible. Joy's lack of faith was the true culprit. Don't let her doubts become yours. Joy's brother. Did you speak with him? I sent Eric to break the news. I sent him a foundation prayer. And? He tore it up and punched Eric. And you were expecting a different response? Everyone knows how much Toby hates the foundation. Toby needs to be dealt with, Xavier. He'll only cause problems for us. Yes, I know. There's more. Eric's been asking questions. Can't you just put him in his place like you usually do? Eric is only an initiate. Initiates are impressionable, but also unpredictable. That makes them dangerous. He's also my husband. You've always taught us that marriage is a temple built on trust. You are a blessed protector, Rachel. Called by the purifier. Eric won't understand that. You'll have to figure out how to field his questions without putting us at risk. Can you do this? I can try. I'm certain you can. Would you like some coffee or something? I gave up coffee when I was pregnant. I never went back. I understand Ingrid have been feeling ill for a while. That's right. Was last night worse than usual? Uh, I'm not... I'd have to think. There will be an autopsy. So we'll have answers soon enough. Many I spoke to had... strong 
feelings about your wife. She's not even buried, and people are already dragging her name. She had her defenders, mostly those who were scared of her. And I think it's safe to say most in this town would celebrate one less Johansson. I could barely even find someone to do the autopsy. It's a small town. Grudges live longer than people. And you, detective? Are you glad to see one less Johansson? I loved her, detective. I shouldn't have to prove that to you. I guess I'll take your word for it. For now, anyway. I've had enough of this. We're in mourning. If I have other questions, I'll be in touch. You know where the door is. I'll walk you out. Your father's memory may be hazy, but mine's not. I know what kind of person Ingrid was. If there's something you're hiding, either of you, you need to tell me. We'll find out either way. just... I burned myself. You sure? Yeah, I... I'm fine. Hey, about the thing with Toby? I, uh... I hope I didn't get you in trouble with anybody at the Foundation. For what it's worth, I think you were right to send him that prayer. Maybe some small part of it got through to him. Xavier's dealing with bigger problems than Toby. Joy's death? You never did tell me what happened. Joy died during a ceremony. It was just her and me, and then... We weren't alone. There was something else. Something right out of Radcliffe's writings. Oh my god. But you can't tell anyone. Xavier needs this to stay quiet until we can figure out what really happened. Understand? Rachel? What's wrong? Rich! We need to go to the Foundation. Now. What? Why? Go get Faith. I'll pack. Rach, it's the middle of the night and- Eric, I know this brings up bad memories for you, but we're not safe here. Well, what do we tell Faith? I guess we could lie and say it's a sleepover. At least you wouldn't be scared. Xavier doesn't approve of keeping the truth from children. We can tell her a story from the scriptures. Xavier keeps copies in his library. Some of those stories are pretty scary, Rach. Eric, you're not helping. Look, we don't have time to debate this. I just need you and Faith to do exactly what I say. It'll be better for everyone. I don't know if she'll listen. She's been acting out again. Eric, go! Yeah, okay. Hello? Would it kill you to answer your phone? Look, I know how you feel about all this. But the Foundation's really helped me. Rachel's helped me. Anyway, tonight's a big night for me. I'm a little nervous. Wanted to hear your voice, I guess. Please don't hate me. I'm happy. <laughs> Bullshit. You couldn't even answer your fucking phone. Joy? You never cared about me. That's why I joined them. To find a real family. This isn't happening. Then open your eyes. Oh god! Joy! No! What? What? This isn't real. Oh 
Get your shit together, Toby. <laughs> we both know that'll never happen. You're just gonna stand there? <gasps> After what they did to me? After what she did? Rachel did this? First she screwed you over. Destroyed your life. Then she took mine. She needs to answer for what she's done, Toby. You deserve the truth. Rachel, the Foundation, they won't say a goddamn thing! I warned you about them, Joy. But I'll show everyone what they did. I can prove it now. Proof? Even if you had it, who would believe you? Poor Toby Sorelli. The town drunk. The fuck up. Then what do I do? Please, tell me what to do. Burn it down. All of it. I... I can't. They'd kill me. Joy, please. Joy? Structurally, the liquid in the syringe appears to be an opiate. Morphine? She wasn't prescribed morphine. <gasps> Hello? Hello, Astrid. This is Mrs. Stavik. I'm one of Orson's instructors. Is everything all right? No, I'm afraid not. There was an altercation between some of the kids today. It's hard to say who started it, but Orson bit another student. I'm afraid you're going to have to keep him home until... It's hard to say. Orson could have been pushed or provoked. Maybe it was self-defense. Look, we have a very strict policy about violence. Regardless of how it started, we're suspending Orson for a few days. I'm sorry. <sighs> Did I catch you at a bad time? Got the report on the C1 cultures you wanted. Everything okay? Uh, some drama at Orson's school. Apparently he misbehaved. But it could have been the other kids who started it for all I know. One parent to another? If you let him off easy now, it'll just lead to more bad behavior down the line. Sounds like my mother. If anyone in my family stepped even a toe out of line, we never heard the end of it. I never wanted that for Orson. And he's so impressionable at this age. It takes a lot of work to not become our parents. <sighs> Maybe I'll just give him a good talking to. In my experience, Lectures are sometimes not enough. In one ear, out the other. What would you do? Something he'd understand. Like taking away his toys. He'd hate it. And I'm not sure I could handle the tears. We all have to learn that actions have consequences. Orson, how about something to eat, yeah? We have, uh... Oh, Eva. When did you get here? Mama kicked me out of the house again. Okay if I stay? Yeah, of course. What do you have there, Lilleven? You got in a bit of trouble at school, I hear. Well... We'll stay out of trouble here, won't we? He beat someone, huh? When I was his age, I used to bite kids at school, too. Grandpa? Where's Grandma? That's complicated, Lilleven. <laughs> you haven't told him? I was his age when I lost my Grandma. My Papa's Mama. Oh, he was so sad. He didn't come out of his room for a week. That made Mama angry. I kept asking why Papa was so sad, and that made her even angrier, so finally she told me. What did she tell you? What she thought I needed to hear. Grandpa? 
Where's Grandma? You know that your grandma loves you very much, right? Just like I love you. And your mama does too. Where did she go? Well, you see, Lilleven, Grandma... She died. Am I going to die too? Not for a very long time. I don't think I want to. Don't worry about that now, Lilleven. Can you watch him a moment? Orson? Grandpa's going out to check on the farm. Will you be okay playing with your toys for a few minutes? I'll play with Zane. Who is Zane? The man in the fog. Mommy, I don't like it here. I know, sweetie, and I promise we'll go home soon. We just need to be here for a little while. I'll go grab the rest of our things. We set up some cots in the meeting room. You and Eric can... I don't want to stay here. Remember the story about the girl in the stone castle? Her mommy and daddy took her to a big castle so she'd be safe from the monsters outside. And remember who was there to protect them? The prof... Purifier. That's right. Uh, are there monsters outside? Like in the story? Faith, this place is like the stone castle. Nothing bad can get you in here. Uh, okay. I saw something again tonight. The purifier? I don't know what it was. Xavier, I'm afraid. Not just for me, but for my family, too. Rachel, you are a walking miracle. The Purifier would never let anything harm you. What about Eric? What about her? Maybe Krista's right. Maybe I am cursed. Krista is wrong. I'm sure of it. But how do you know? How do any of us know if any of this is true? The Elders will help us make sense of all of this. Rachel, we love you. And we would never let anything happen to you or your family. You believe that, right? Of course I do. Good. Now get some rest. to talk to you about something. You know how you've been staying home from school? That's because of what happened on your last day. Do you remember? You ask a lot of questions, Mama. Like Zane. Is that a friend in your class? Imaginary friend. Orson. Your teacher said you got into... an argument. And you bit another kid. Orson, look at me. You beat someone. That's not okay, ever. Do you understand me? When you hurt people, it hurts you in your heart. And it hurts my heart too. You don't want to hurt me, do you? Astrid, I think that's enough. I know that was hard to hear, but that ugliness... That's how your grandma behaved. I don't think we need any more angry, mean old ladies in the world. We need more good little boys. More Orsons. Okay? Okay. I can make us some tea. The water's still hot. No, Papa. You did a hard thing up there. Talking things out with Orson. But I think he'll be a better person for it. 
I don't want to hear your review of my parenting skills. All right. Then what do you want to talk about? The syringe. The one I found in Mama's room. There's nothing more to say. I ran a test on it, Papa. It was filled with morphine. Is that what you were giving, Mama? Is that what killed her? Why do you bring this up again? Why can't you let it go? I already told you her death wasn't my fault. I did everything for your mother. Because you were scared of her. Father, you don't know anything. You don't know what it was like, what she could do, what... Are you fucking serious? I know exactly what it was like. Every day in this house was torture. And you, Papa, you didn't do a goddamn thing about it. God, I... Where are you going? To get Orson. You are not fit to be around him. Leave the boy, Astrid. You don't know what you're saying. I thought all of this shit was finally gone with Mama. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what happened. I've heard a lifetime of empty apologies. I don't need another. Astrid, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Make it stop. See you back at the house? I could cook and... We need to go back. What? Let's go, Faith. Grab your stuff. Wait, Rach. Talk to me. Mommy? Faith, honey, can you go check on the machines over there? Go see if anyone left anything behind. You trusted me enough to tell me what really happened to Joy, and you can trust me now. So tell me. What's going on? Hey, look at me. Rach, you can talk to me. I can't. Rach, come on. It's me. I'm not gonna tell anybody anything. You're asking me to break my oath. I just want to help. I said no. You're right. I'm sorry. Detective, please come in. Can I... can I get you something to drink? No, thank you. Well, I'm here. Why did you call me? I, um... I wanted to show you this. I found this in my mother's room. It's morphine. She wasn't prescribed it, but... If this syringe was full, it could have been a lethal dose. You think your father did this? I'm not sure. You should have given this to me earlier. But I understand your hesitation. It can't have been easy. If it helps us know the truth, do what you have to do. I intend to. They die. You probably think that was me too. I just said he talked with your daughter. She was very helpful. May have given me what I need to put you away. Surprised? 
Why haven't you arrested me then? If you had any excuse to put those cuffs on me, you would. <laughs> you can't. Even you don't think you have the evidence. You're just trying to scare me into confessing. I'm giving you a chance to tell the truth before the autopsy does it for you. What if the truth is impossible to believe? Like what? A Anokin did it? Look, just save us the trouble and admit you killed her. Denial won't hold up against evidence. The evidence you don't have. Yet. Are you ready? Not really. Tell them the truth, and everything will be fine. Xavier, I... Rachel Hernandez, we're ready for you. Yes, Neil. Whether out of penitence or humility, we must decide how to judge the work of your hands. Rachel Hernandez, your sister Joy is dead, but you are very much alive. Why is this? Look at me, Rachel. S something killed her. Something. We'll need more to go on than that. I... I don't know. One of our own is dead. We demand answers. I don't have them. I've replayed that day in my mind again and again, and I... I can't ignore my doubts. Explain. I did everything correctly, exactly as I was taught. Every word, every cut. But what I saw... It was something new, something we don't understand. Are you questioning the veracity of our teachings? No! I'm just saying, what if we miss something? What if there's something we don't know? This order has stood for centuries! How dare you! <sighs> Though I am not pleased to see that your faith has wavered, I think it would be unwise to ignore this. A ritual of clarity is required. Barbara, given the outcome of the last ritual, is this our wisest course of action? I believe it is. And why is that? Because the withering must be stopped. A withering? Here? Impossible. I would have seen the signs. You may not have seen them, but she has. You've seen them, haven't you, Rachel? Visions. Harbingers. Lurking in that cramped, stifling place between sleep and awake. How do you? I know because of Radcliffe's writings. And now I know it's spreading here. This town stands on a cliff. As more are drawn into the pestilence-blighted web, it flutters further over the abyss. We have to stop it. You have to stop it. I will do whatever is required of me. Good. You will need to choose someone to help you perform the ritual. Someone who will bring you strength. The girl's husband. He's still new to our order, but a marriage bond is a powerful one. Krista should do it. Me? She and Rachel haven't always seen eye to eye, but friction can yield perseverance. I can also make myself available, though you should consider our bond is only still in its infancy. I... I need time to think.